Um, Can't sure. run the last week, guys. Oh man. All right. I you gotta get going someone. I want to date you. Polly. She's she likes me. Let's see. I think. Um, bring me back to the gymnasium. Back to the gym. Yeah. Chom. That day, believe it or not, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Amidst the battle, you spot a fellow player that seems utterly discouraged. She thinks she's not worth anything at dodgeball, and she attempts to throw a ball at herself. Haha. <laughs> oh. You explain to her the many ways you think she's unique and wonderful, while also defending the many pleasures in life. Dude, can I just bring her? She's perfect. <laughs> With your help, she's capable of finding reason to keep playing and gains a sense of self-worth. She's my favorite. I want that one. Oh, it's the game plus one, BFF. Sadly, she's not part of the game, so that beautiful friendship took the most off screen. Darn you! <laughs> and plus two charm. <laughs> the game's too self-aware from what I want to do. It's only been one match, and you can see that Polly and Liam, who has once again found me, are already bored. Good yes. morning, my sweet students. <gasps> oh my it's god. Our teacher. Go ahead, Ricardo. Marvelous, my dear student athletes. This match was great, but I know. The remaining 29 matches will be even greater. 29 matches. Time to get that blood pumping and those heart rates going. Ugh, why do we have to do this? I don't even have blood or a heart. Also, I hate playing with balls. Most of the time. You're right, Paulina. Physical exertion is for lesser beings with no conception of how to properly vile, uh, wait, how to properly vile away the hours. I'm not sure what you're saying, unless you mean you're down to help me skip this bummer of a class? Indeed, but we need to do so cleverly, so as to not get detention -ly. Well, good thing Jordan has 13 creativity. Okay, so we have to let's throw a surprise party for Coach, like right now. Or fake mustaches! They're always the answer. <laughs> um. I feel like surprise party would be part of fun and your phone's medium, like, kind of lowish. Dude, I know, but fake mustaches are definitely fun. That's probably bold. They're both creative. So, which one would you do? Surprise party or fake mustache? Fake mustaches, they're always the answer. Are you serious? Darn it. <laughs> I mean, I, is this some kind of avant-garde showcase of outdated cliches or what? Blech. I got 13 creativity. You can't beat me here. Shut up, Liam. There's no time. Operation Fake Mustaches starts now. You wear the fake mustaches, and it's not long before Coach realizes something is amiss. Hey, there's something weird Dude, I've got 13 cre going creativity. on here. You can't beat me here. You three aren't students here. You can't fool me. Mustaches are for adult people. <laughs> like you. Why are you three adult people trying to invade my gym class? Thinking fast, Liam says, We're three prestigious lawyers here to tell you that three of your students will be missing the rest of this class. Bleh. Yeah. Polly adds. They're on trial for being too sporty. No way! Being too sporty is not a crime. Tell those kids we're rooting for them here. You leave the gym and celebrate how fake mustaches never lose. You gain plus two boldness <laughs> and plus one smarts. How right. fake mustaches never lose? I'll make it me. Uh... Dude, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> I'm gonna go creativity. Yeah, I need more. Yeah. It's oh, kind of surprising. Really oh, he looks good. That day while rehearsing for the class play, you do a terrific job at acting. I got a fake mustache. Yeah, they they always win. You act so hard that some of your classmates in the audience throw roses at you. Seven roses to be exact. It was the mustache. Man, roses aren't a valid currency or a stat in this game. Anyway, you check your converter app to see if this could translate into something a bit more useful. Hmm. That seems seven roses equals two creativity points. Sure. Sweet. <laughs> okay. game plus two creativity. <laughs> You're rehearsing a scene. She's oh my Daisy! gosh! She is just Daisy. You're rehearsing a scene from a tale of two bit processors with Calculester and Miranda. He's a steampunk robot. I love it. But it's not going well. 
Here, little robot friend. Let's try the theater game to loosen you up a bit. Error. If my bolts were to be loosened, I would collapse. No, Calculus. Here, let's try some improv. Remember what I taught you? Yes. And? <laughs> and. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Close enough! Now returning to the next text of the scene. Alas, it appears the one who has stolen my jewels was you. Oh my god. Error. Invalid input. <laughs> I have not stolen, nor would I ever steal, any jewels from you, friend Miranda. I can't work under these conditions! Miranda storms out in a huff. Surely there must be some way to get Calculester back on track for the play. How can you make Calculester understand how fiction works? Oh boy. So, but you have stolen the princess jewels, check in your bag, and then frame him by putting some random jewels you stole from someone else in his bag. <laughs> Calculester, theater is about fiction and the suspense of, dis suspense of disbelief. It's too hard to explain it to you through spoken language. Allow me to explain in the language of salad. So that sounds creative and the first one's <laughs> bold, which I have none of. of. Salad. <laughs> You root around in your backpack, tossing out a shark, some high heels, and a bag of water until you find what you need. I don't know, every time he goes, I think it's Ricardo's turn. I was like, why did Tyler just pick? <laughs> but anyway. With your ancient and cursed katana, you begin to chop vegetables. God, this is Tyler. <laughs> All kinds of vegetables. Those ones. Arugula, beets. Oh. <laughs> and those ones. Why and, do you have so many vegetables? And these. Some of these aren't even vegetables. Like, it's a lot of vegetables, okay? A lot of vegetables. Vegetables. You juggle them, you ribbon dance with them, you celebrate them. It's a beautiful display. That was beautiful. Display, friend Tyler. I appreciate your awareness that spoken language is often difficult for me to comprehend, since my first language is binary code, which vegetables are much closer to emulating. Oh, really? Thank you so much, Tyler. Or should I say, carrot, carrot, eggplant, corn, carrot. Oh, dang. No effing idea what he just said, but hey, there's an eggplant there, so it can't be bad, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gain plus two smarts and plus one fun. Yeah, that's why I said, let's oh, dang. Let's do this! <laughs> okay. Oh, man, um, the cards go. Let's see, what do I got? Uh, I'll go to do, I'll do the, uh, um, class. That day, your teacher delivers an amazing and creative performance that blows you. All your minds. It ends up being a sensation on YouTube. Your teacher gains plus 10 <clears throat> coolness. But who cares? He's not trying to romance your classmates. Or is he? Yep, there we go. <laughs> we hope not. <laughs> Why? Someone almost like 200 years old. Oh, you also gain plus two smarts. Hooray! You're doing your thing. Oh no! A wild Damien suddenly appears. Dude, he wants to ask you out. Remember? I know. Hey, you! You look like you have nothing better to do. You're not into the flame demon. Not I'm really. Not for the prom, because walking is for losers. Oh man! And also because I lost my driver's license after I drove a motorcycle to another Sunday school picnic. <laughs> but I will take any lame aim out. I need the best creature in H E Double Hawkins. So let's brainstorm. If you don't answer the next 10 seconds, I'm putting a bit in your mouth and writing you. Uh, what if, what if so, she's into that? What if Flamponius uh, is into we're that? We're talking H-E double hockey stick here, so a goat, but not just any goat, a goat that's a real a-hole. <laughs> uh, what about a giant gelatinous 50-nosed creature at your house that spits bile and eats corpses? The bottom one. All right. Oh, well. Oh! <laughs> Are you talking about grandma? Oh no! <laughs> grandma? Uh, you want me to ride my grandma into prom? I thought it was weird that he specified it was at his house. No! Would you ride, would you ride your grandma? <laughs> <laughs> oh crap. What does she think she's my date? It's bad enough to have to feed her and bathe her every night. Aww. That's nice. You know, look about the right size to be a grandma treat. You're pretty sure that's not a compliment. 
You flee before you can find out for sure. You oh, lose well. two charm and one fun. <laughs> Let's go. You still have 11 fun though. It's not good enough. Let's see. Um, so the library or bathrooms? Um, library was money, right? Wait, have you gone yeah, to so the? Have you gone to the? Uh, oh, never mind. No, yeah, never mind. That's a shop now. Yeah, yeah, I don't feel like going to the to the shop. So bathrooms, it is. I spend a lot of time in the bathrooms. That day, you skip class and just hang out in the bathroom because you respect no authority, or it takes as long for you to wipe your butt as it takes Jordan. On the way there, you run in to Mommy Moon, <laughs> the Oni girl. Nice. She offers you some of her weird Japanese energy drink. Nice. Did you no Onigiri? You take a sip. It tastes crazy as H double hockey stick. You need to check the contents of this poop. Uh, poop. Guarana seed extract, benzoic acid, 50 milligrams of caffeine, and 100 milligrams of boldness. Well, it wasn't bad at all. You gain plus two boldness. Thanks, mommy me. And proceed to the bathroom. Are you think? Yeah. You notice, Calculuster. Man, it must be the one you're going after or something, because it keeps ah. popping up around you. Taking one of his favorite succulents out for a walk. Suddenly, the wolf pack comes jogging around the corner and nearly crash into oh, him. Man. Hey! Watch where you're going, nerd! I am terribly sorry. I was simply taking my succulent for its daily walk. I know that succulents do not require walks, but I believe they appreciate them. Aww. <laughs> what? <a laughs> what? Sorry, bro. I wasn't listening. I was too distracted by your lack of facial hair. I'm sorry? I mean, look at you two. When's the last time you shaved? Never! Hmm. Are you talking to me and my plant? If so, there is a simple explanation for the lack of facial hair. I myself am a robot, and my succulent is a succulent. Neither succulents nor robots grow facial hair. <laughs> I've got a succulent too, if you know what I mean. It's long and hard, and I keep it in my pants. I call it my cactus. <laughs> oh, cactus? <laughs> yeah. oh, nice, okay. bro. Good joke. Bump my fist with your fist, bro. <laughs> oh, you like succulents too? Can I see? Dude, get wrecked. <clears throat> Unintentionally, but get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'll just be getting back to my walk then. No way! Not so fast, bro. We're not about to let your unmanly facial hair lacking asses just wander around our halls. We demand you grow a beard now! Well, that's certainly not going to happen, but maybe you can find another way to convince the wolf pack that Calculester is manly enough to walk these halls. Man, my creativity is really low, so I don't think that's going to work. So, sure, facial hair is manly, but you know what's even manlier? A face made entirely of glass and metal. So that one's probably not creativity, but uh, Calculester does have facial hair. He just doesn't carry it with him all the time. Duh. So I don't think either of those are creativity, but it's... I think that's um, bold yeah. and smart. Also, one's pro I think the bottom one is smart. And the other know. one might be bold, but I don't know yeah. either. I, I'm going to go with the top one. Here's why I don't go with what the, the stats say. I just go with what I would say. Yeah, I, I, well, I've been going by that too, but I feel like glass and metal face, that kind of sounds me like, well, literally metal. So you're going to go for so one? Going with that one? Cool. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa, is that true? Is a glass and metal face really more manly? I truly have no objective metric for assessing manliness. Oh, a tough talker, huh? Well, maybe you should try putting your mouth where your face is. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Please try. Wham. Leader of the Wolf Pack headbutts Calculuster oh, no. right in his glass and metal face. By the way, the, the Wolf Pack looks oh, like, should be like the game, game right? <laughs> it feels like I just rammed my face into a bunch of glass and metal. What do you think, Jordan? Yeah. Huh? What do you say about them? Oh, I said he looks like he could be a member of the Gang Green Gang. <laughs> He'd have to be green, obviously, but just like the his design and everything. It's true. Reminds me of Ace. Metal face beats meat face. <laughs> it is just as my great uncle Killbot 9000 always said. 
Sorry for doubting you, bro. Your face really is the manliest. Because manliness is all about one thing and one thing only. The ability to hurt other men. <laughs> Duly noted. No, please calculate, Tor. A wolf pack scamper off. Probably to find someone else to hurt, so they can feel better about themselves. You gain plus two fun and plus one boldness. Yay! There was a section during that surf rock song where it just like went to a bit of a ska riff. I didn't notice. Everyone chooses a place. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. The Empire State Building. Walmart. Disneyland. It's parking lot. Oh. San Diego. So yeah, Walmart's parking lot's mine. How likely it would be to break up with your partner if you discovered that due to unknown reasons, they can't use the bathroom anywhere but this place? <laughs> Jordan, you can only pee in the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> would you, uh, would you leave me for that? No. Oh, okay. Because Walmarts are around everywhere, so it's not inconvenient. I feel like the Empire State Building is really, really inconvenient because it's one building in New York. So, mm -hmm. like, uh, Ricard, or, or not Ricard, Tyler's is more convenient because it's all of Los Angeles. So at least, as long as you live in California. Yeah, but as long as you live, oh, did you say San Diego? He said San Diego. What? That's not, that's <laughs> an entirely different part of California. Yeah. And then Ricardo, what did you well, say? Well, so she said LA. I, I said Disneyland. Disneyland. Okay, so you would have That's to, also California. You'd have to move to Disneyland. Because so, Disney World is the one in I Florida. feel like mine's the most inconvenient because uh, it's one building. Then Tyler and Ricardo's are less inconvenient because they actually have like a, at least like a whole space. But you're forgetting then, one thing. What? Yours is inside. Yeah? There's at least a bathroom. Yeah. I can get arrested for just going and taking a crap in Walmart parking lot. Uh, no. Ah, uh, they're used to it. Uh, yeah. It's, they're probably used to it. It's just they, Walmart. They it. It's Walmart. And there's one Walmart. It, there's there's more than one Walmart, like, everywhere. So you're fine. You can, you'll be fine. Anyway. So what's, um, but what's the thing, though? The, the prompt is... How likely you would be to break up with your partner if they, if they could only use the bathroom there. I would break up with Jordan if he was only allowed to pee in the Empire State Building. You because would? I, I... I don't, You'd break up with me for we, that? We wouldn't be able to live there. What if you had to... You have any idea how many times... You have to get... Yeah, we'd move to San Diego, but at least we could live anywhere in San Diego. We'll just if, live by the Empire State... You wouldn't have to deal with it. I'd just run across the street like, I'm gonna go pee. Yeah, but do you have any idea how much rent would be? It's freaking San Diego? And you'd leave me for that? Because I have to pee in the Empire State Building? I was cursed. <laughs> and you're leaving me for that? What's your guys' opinion? I mean, mine mine is just an excuse to then go to Disneyland so I wouldn't break up with them. I yeah. Know, like, Ricardo's <laughs> great because you could just be in Disneyland. Okay? So I'll go Trash last. Email. I would leave her if she had to use the bathroom. So I would think I would go shower <laughs> me, Ricardo Jordan? Uh, yes. All right. I would say Shar, Ricardo, then Tyler, then Jordan. Because yeah, but like, I'd rather go yeah, Disneyland. You have to pay to get into Disneyland. Yeah, yeah so like, I would go Shar, Shar, Ricardo, but Tyler. But then again, if you, if you did just have like a lifetime pass at Disneyland, that, that would be great But then you don't too. get to live there. You can live in San Diego. Wait, doesn't Disneyland have a yeah, resort? Yeah, but do, would you want to you live in a resort? <laughs> I thought they had one that you could like. Do you know how much that would cost? I'll give you. I'll give you a hint. It's going to cost okay. a lot more than New York. <laughs> Yeah, I'd go Char, Ty, uh, sorry, Char, Ricardo, Tyler, me. Oh. I thought it was likely. No, so. least likely. Oh. Most likely? Okay. Let's go. Oh, recall. Regardless. Lunch time. Um, oh, that blue tea flame is here. Who's the... Oh, who is that? Oh, no, no, no. I think that's the... No, I think that's the... Uh, that's the Oni. Um, oh, yeah. That's my Oni oh, friend. Oh, you right. You right. Yeah. What was I talking to her about? Yeah. I forget. Um, I oh hey, it's the werewolf dude too. Oh, okay, guys, do you think the the computer guy likes me more or the ghost girl likes me more? Um, Probably Polly. So far, I think those two are the ones that I've got. I think you've only with. talked to Calculester like twice, but you've talked to Polly like five times. Yeah, you've had I think more individual interactions with Polly. I think anytime you've seen Calculester other than the last, Polly has been there. Okay, I'm gonna go to Polly then. Scott and Polly are sitting together. Laughing their metaphorical booties off. Do Damien! Do Damien! Gerner, I'm Damien! Look at my stupid red face! I don't sound like that. 
I use violence to cover up the fact that I've been brought up to, refer, to, to revere a toxic version of masculinity, which has alienated me from my own true emotions. That part's true. <laughs> you sound exactly like him. <laughs> okay, okay, you do, Vera. I'm Vera. I'm very smart, and my hair is pretty, and all my friends look up to me because I'm a strong, independent woman. <laughs> Scott, I'm not sure you understand how impressions work. <laughs> I'm not Scott! I'm Vera! You can tell because I said my name just now! His okay. eyes... What about you, Shark? I know, I, good impressions? I love He's that like a face. Steven Universe character. <laughs> He's like, uh... Just one. But it is a real doozy. Oh no, my creativity is at five. So uh -oh. you can be Wolf Wolf, it's me, Scott, a dog boy who is bad at impressions, or look at me, I'm Polly, look at me go. Uh, I would probably do Scott, because it's going to be adorable. And I feel like Scott, wait, no, okay, never mind. <laughs> that was a heart. Well, go ahead, Tyler. I know you're doing an impression of me because you said my name, but... Oh my god, that's exactly like him! It does? Yeah! Remember that time we took the impressions class together and we had to introduce ourselves? Oh yeah! I guess I did say Wolf Wolf, it's me, Scott, a dog boy who's bad at impressions. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't yell like that. I'm sorry, are you the real Scott? There's two absolutely identical werewolves in front of me and I can't tell the difference. Polly insists on a smooching contest to determine oh. who the real Scott is. You end up winning in more ways than one. Oh. You, you smooched Polly? I think I smooched Polly. I smooched Polly. All right. So, how much is the creativity poster from the store? I think five. Oh, man. Okay, mermaid it is. Let's go. I said, because I'm definitely going to need some money. You come upon Damien sneering at Miranda's elaborate silverware, spread in, or spread while her eating serfs chow down obediently at a neighboring table. I still don't get why you collect all these stupid forks and spoons and poop. What a noob. I mean, even these knives don't really look that deadly. Silly boy, these silverware is not for killing. Things can be for stuff other than killing? That's lame as H-E double hockey stick. It's basically useless. I mean, you don't even eat. Your serves do it for you. Well, of course they do. But they're not using any of your silverware. Naturally, they aren't. Serves must eat with their hands, as befits the lower classes. So you're saying the silverware collection has no practical purpose? Things have practical purposes? These two could go around and round like this forever, unless you say something to resolve the dispute. So you can um, say, Damien's right, Miri. Maybe it's time you start murdering people with your silverware. Or, we have Miranda, Damien. What about your collection of exotic corpses? That one. Second one. Yeah, <laughs> the second one. <laughs> exotic corpses. That's different. Those corpses are useful. Useful for what? <laughs> for... For holding down important documents. <laughs> Paperweights. What important documents? Documents about very uh, important... Uh, fine. I guess I didn't use the stupid corpses for anything. I just stack them in a shed and occasionally dress them up in silly costumes. <laughs> <laughs> there, you happy? Extremely. Oh, man. Whatever. I want to go play with my corpses. Oh. There's nothing you can do about it. So, meh. You stay behind with Miranda to admire her collection. She even teaches you how to use the romance fork. Smooth. What? All right. Is that nice. her dick? <laughs> 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 uh, it's a trident, Jordan. I'm going to go. Oh. Here. You sit down with Zoe and Calculuster. Zoe seems to have bought some fresh sanity today. That is, she has a screaming man strapped to the table and is currently siphoning his sanity through his eye socket. Oh. Friend Zoe, I'm afraid I must take issue with your current practice. What? Her, what? Eating? 
eating in a manner which causes a human to repeatedly scream, Kill me! While voiding his bowels and bladder, it does not seem nice. Ew, on Are the you for table? real? Look, I was born this way, okay? It, well, not so much born as ripped from the fabric of reality itself and animated with equal part raw malice and uh, concept of despair. But, um, still, don't judge me. Mother Ever. I do not possess the necessary firmware to judge you, so. I do, however, wish that you would find another way to attain sustenance. You can't stand to see these two at odds. Maybe you could convince Zoe to change her ways, or convince Calculester that they don't need changing. So, you could have, Zoe, why don't you eat this vegan brownie I bought instead? It's probably way tastier than that guy's sanity. Or, oh, come on, Calculester. Sanity is even one of the top five worst things Zoe could be devouring from this dude. Ew. I'm gonna go for the brownie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, are, are you telling me it's possible to eat food? That is, in fact, the primary purpose of food. Wow, well, uh, this changes, um, everything. Toss me that brownie. Tossing the brownie is unnecessary because you're sitting right next to Zoe. But you don't argue with a woman who is insane half-corpse tied to a cafeteria table. Oh, M G. Oh, there you go. OMG, this is delicious. It, it doesn't even taste like suffering. Uh, uh, it, yeah, it doesn't even taste like suffering a little bit. That is because it is a vegan brownie. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, I never thought I could enjoy something that didn't involve mutilating a person's body and mind, but, um, you've, um, opened my, my many eyes today. But I'm not sure if I'm ready to go full vegan. Maybe I can be flexitarian, as in um, sometimes eating vegan food, sometimes devouring people's minds and souls. Hmm. It sounds okay enough. Query, what should we do with the gibbering human still affixed to the table? Oh man, I uh, don't know. This is um, this is so embarrassing. Put him in the trash compactor, I guess. <laughs> Oof. That does seem to be the official school policy. Yes. You really bond with Calculester, while having the convulsing mass of human flesh, uh, while hauling the convulsing mass of human flesh to the garbage chute. Teamwork makes the dream work. Um, um sure. sure. All right. Uh, yeah, I want to go meet the Oni. Oh. oh. To sit with Dahlia, which means you got half a table all to yourself. Sweet. So it's not the only. The less sweet part is that you have to sit at a table with Dahlia. Oh man! Oh, she looks oh. cool. Hey, hey, look at me! I'm worried about you. Don't look so surprised. I care. I'm a caring person. I care about my allies. You get the feeling that she doesn't have that many allies. So look, the point is, you look pretty scrawny to me, and that's a problem. How are you ever going to defeat your rival if you're scrawny? You're right. How will I? You try to explain that you don't really see anyone as a rival, but Dahlia presses a finger to your lips, shushing you. As Shara's currently doing to me. Don't talk, listen! I've seen you prancing around school, flirting with all your classmates, trying to take them to prom. <laughs> sure, you're not fighting the glorious battles like I am, but I think you have a rival. A rival named Rejection. And I have the best way to defeat any rival. Through a good old-fashioned anime workout. <laughs> and nice. you lost me. <laughs> Crap. Kind of starting to think she has a point. Hey, it couldn't hurt to try, right? Dolly offered you a choice between two workouts. <laughs> so we got get thrown off a cliff or punching a waterfall until it runs backwards. Oh my god! I with the second one because that's awesome. <laughs> Let's get down to Okay, but remember, the point is to strive for something that's seemingly impossible. You probably won't actually make the waterfall flow backwards. Challenge accepted. Unless you achieve some kind of unmatched power level and start glowing with key energy or something. <laughs> I'm just trying to manage your expectations. But little does Dahlia know, in addition to being a monster and a high school student, you actually are a super saiyan this entire time. <laughs> you would be! <laughs> Dude, I know that one. I know that anime. That's Inuyasha. You regularly dye your hair because <laughs> she was just angrily looking at me. <laughs> you regularly dye your hair because you just want to live a normal life. 15,000 rapid-fire punches from you is all it takes to reverse the direction 
of Monstropolis's biggest waterfall. Dude, this is canon to Monsters Inc. The, yeah, it yeah, is. Like, okay. Thus creating the world's first reverse water slide. Sweet. You spend the rest of the period sliding up the waterfall with all your friends and gain plus four fun. Dang, you basically just fixed that stat. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> stat wise, I think Jordan might win. Let's trade places. Everybody choose a video game. Banjo to it. Monster Prom. I think you said Ninja Pokemon. Turtles. Yakuza. <laughs> Zero. Uh, how cool yet artistically <laughs> intense it would be to turn the video game into a Broadway musical. Yakuza! Yakuza! Yep. <laughs> Dang Yakuza it. has to be a Broadway musical. Yeah, I'm going to say I that's mean, first. Yeah, that's definitely Easy. first. Um, I mean, <laughs> Benjo Tui got, you know, has Grant Kirkhope already, or like, you know, could be the yeah, conductor. Yeah, everything and, would sound like freaking like Oingo Boingo music. Yeah. yeah I definitely would say Pokemon would be last. I don't think it's the Pokemon most. the musical. It already cool. has a musical. It would be cool, but it wouldn't be like... See? Awesome. But but this would be a Broadway musical, Ricardo. Yeah, I think it would go Misha or Ricardo. <laughs> Wait, t Tyler and Ricardo, what were what? yours again? Mine was Ricardo's Monster Prom. And Monster Prom and then Magic Cousy. Yeah, Monster Prom I could see as a musical, but I wouldn't want to watch it. No, I, I would rather watch Banjo Kazooie as a musical. I th I think Monster Prom would be my least. Plus, everyone, like, like Gruntilda is someone who, like, rhymes all the time. It's pretty much, like, you know could just make her oh stuff, i don't like... i don't doubt that they none of them would be made like poorly but yeah i'd I, watch the banjo kazooie one that's second place for me you wouldn't watch a pokemon the broadway music i would watch pokemon uh, we'll the broadway go, musical, we'll but go i don't know which one's so better so jordan ricardo shar tyler that's what you would go yeah sounds good all right oh dude we're almost there oh my gosh i'm nervous <laughs>